Hi folks, Philip Andrews here again for the Photoshop Elements team and this time around we're going to look at some great ways to sort your images, uh, how to manage them and how to find your photos really quickly. We're inside the Photoshop Elements Organizer workspace for version 11 and we're going to use several different techniques to help get a handle on how we can get to our images quickly and easily. The more images you have in your catalogue, the more difficult it will be to find particular photos unless you take some time to sort them and manage them first. And one of the simplest ways to do this is to create an album. So to create an album, we can select the images that we wish to include the, in the album, select the first one, scroll to the, the bottom of the list, hold down shift and select all of those and then just go and click on the green plus button and create an album here called Eloise. Click OK. Automatically all those images have been added to the Eloise album and you can see them here. An album is great because we can actually use it to sequence our images as well, which is terrific if you want to use these images in a photo project later. And here's a quick tip for a fast way to get back to see all of your images. And that's just to click the All Media button that you can see at the top of the screen. This will take you back to a view of your whole catalogue. Another way that we can organise our images is to add them to a photo stack. And here I've got several different photo stacks already created. If I click on the sideways arrow, you'll see that this photo stack has two different versions of the same image. This one's just been cropped in a square format. Here we have three images designed to be used as the basis for a panorama. If I click on the first one, hold down shift and move through to the last one, a great way to organize those is to include them in the same stack. So with those three selected, I'm going to right click and then go down to stack and across to stack selected photos. You'll see that all three photos have now been included in the same stack. So when I want to go and find those photos again, they are all grouped together and so I can create the panorama from these base images very quickly. As well as stacks, we also have a version set. Version sets are a little bit different to stacks and let me show you how they work. If I double click on this image here of some old pipes and then take it through to our editor workspace, I'm gonna create an old style version of this image by just clicking on the old fashioned option in our guided edit workspace. I'm going to click adjust tone, add some texture and then add some hue saturation. So it's got that nice sepia look with a little bit of texture in it. Now when I go to save this image, I'm going to go file and then down to save. You'll notice that inside the save as dialog, I have save in a version set with the original selected. If I click OK now and go back to the Organizer workspace and just zoom out a little bit, you'll notice that I now have two images associated with each other here. This is called a version set. It looks and works very similarly to the way that photo stacks work, except that here we're looking at two different processed versions of the same image. This is the original one that we had, and this is after adding the sepia tone look and effect. So it's a way of us managing the different versions of the image that we have. Rather than overwriting the image, we can keep a second version of it together. Other ways that we can sort our images is by adding in a star rating for each image. To add a star rating, we can simply click on the stars underneath the photo. If you have no stars sitting underneath your thumbnail in your organizer workspace, well then go up to view and then down to details and make sure that's selected. That will give you the extra information that you can see here. Once you've added star ratings to your image, you can use more stars for the better images and less stars for images not quite as good. You can filter the pictures that are being displayed within the organizer space by just selecting a star rating filter at the top of the workspace here. By selecting three, you'll see that I'm displaying all the images with three, four or five star ratings. You can change how the star rating filter works 
by selecting a different option from the drop down that you can see here. At the moment I have selected the rating is greater than or equal to 3 stars. If I selected the rating is equal to 3 stars then only those images with 3 stars will be displayed. To remove this filter simply click on the 1 star again and go back to is greater than or equal than. So we have no stars selected and all the images are being displayed here. Another way of managing our images is to add keywords to those images. Here you can see some of the keywords already added to images and it's a very easy job to add keywords to images. I'll open up the castle images that you see here and select all three of them and then go down to image tags and just type in castle. Click add and you'll see a new keyword tag added to the list and it has been applied to all of these images. So for us to find all the images associated with the keyword, simply select the keyword tag, click the sideways arrow and you will see all of the images there. Let's hide this uh, filter panel now and we'll go back to the original images that we had here. If we go to the information panel that you see on the right hand side of the workspace, we also have the ability to add in things like captions to individual images. So you can see this image has a caption of mask, this image has a caption of mon patrie. This helps us because when we go to the find drop down menu, you see that we've got a range of different ways of finding our images, including by caption or note. So if we go and type in mask here, and then press OK. The image with the mask caption is being displayed. So taking a little time to organize your photos into albums, adding in star ratings, putting some keywords in, or even grouping them in stacks or version sets and adding in captions are all ways that you can manage your images so that you can quickly find the photos that you want later or sort through them to get the best images to work with.